Hey guys, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to put to the ultimate test a rapid setting concrete post mix versus a fence post foam. Now, we're going to be using this product it's called Sika Pro Select Fence Post Mix. Now, it's an expanding foam product, and we're going to strength test it against your standard rapid setting concrete. Let's go ahead and get started. So, I've honestly never used this product before. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. It's quite big in America and they seem to say that it's quite good. I've already got my opinion about it before we've even started. I've not been paid to review this product so I'll be giving you my honest opinion of it at the end of the video so stick around. Okay so what we have here is two 4x4 posts, 4 inch by 4 inch. They're 7 foot high, 2 foot in the ground so we've got 5 foot sticking up above ground level. Now, on the packet, it says it's equal in volume to two 50 pound bags of concrete mix. So that's gonna be the equivalent of two 20 kilogram bags of post mix. What it also says on the packet is, if there's any standing water in the bottom of the post hole, you need to get rid of that first before you use it. Now, if you're putting fence posts up in the UK, that's probably not a good thing because if you have to do any fencing in the winter, you're going to be siphoning out a lot of these fence post holes. And if you've ever had to do that before, you know that's a messy business. Okay, so for the left hand post, we're going to be using the concrete. And as it says on the bag, it's the equivalent of two bags of post mix. So that's what we're going to be using. For those of you that don't know, you first fill up the hole with a third of water, add your post mix, and then you top up with a bit more water at the end and that's just to cover any dry powder that's showing. Now this is the fun bit. I'm genuinely interested to see how this stuff performs but essentially it's a two-part mix and you need to break the seal down the centre and mix it for 15 seconds. Once mixed you cut the corner off and then pour it straight into the hole. You need to be absolutely ready for this though because once you've mixed it it will just start to expand and if you, if you don't open the bag quick enough or you know you haven't got your post level it's just gonna go all wrong so let's start by breaking the seal oh, there we go corner pour it in and it's like a black liquid I'm sure it's all squeezed out I can feel it warming up already in the bag in fact it's getting very hot so we got it all out so know if you can see that but it's already filling up. I'm just wondering how far this is actually going to get to the top of this hole. Apparently it sets in three minutes. So that's probably a bit quicker than the rapid setting concrete. And then you can use and work off of it within two hours. Like hang a gate from it, which is probably about as quick as I'd like to work on a premix fast setting concrete. Okay, so this is what's left of the packet. Still had a bit inside. It's, it's gone off inside the packet and you can see it's just spilling out at the end there. But it's been about 10 minutes now and I'm sure that's probably expanded as much as it will do. It's gone pretty hard now. Okay guys, so that's both of the posts set now. We'll come back in a week's time and then we'll test the strength of both posts. Okay guys, so it's actually only been six days, but on the packet it says it sets within two hours and that's good enough to start hanging a gate off or building your fence. So six days is plenty of time. The foam hasn't risen level in the hole. It's raised up in places and you've even got these little voids right next to the post. When water runs down the post, it's going to collect into those little 
pockets around the bottom of the post and that will just hold the water and then the post will rot a lot quicker. And then if you come over here, Chris, and have a look at the concrete. Now, if you can see in there, it's the concrete's set completely flat. So normally what would happen is you'd fill the concrete right up to the top of the hole and you'd smooth the concrete away from the post. So any water that ran down the post, it would just run away from the bottom rather than collect. <laughs> okay, so now for the ultimate test. The concrete seems absolutely solid and that's not going anywhere, but the foam is not looking too good. Foam is set completely rock solid, but it doesn't seem to have filled the hole completely. It's obviously expanded and then contracted inside the hole, which has just left it completely loose. So I'm not really trying very hard at all and, and that post is completely wobbly. This is absolutely fine. It's not going anywhere. Well, that is not very good at all. It's almost coming out, it just doesn't want to come out in that last bit. Touching that, that is soaking wet. It's completely wet around the post. That is obviously not very good for if you're putting in a wooden post, because that is just gonna rot. Have a look down inside the hole. No, that really is not going anywhere. Okay, I'll try and do the same as I did with that one and try and pull it out with my hand. Okay, it's loosened off. Okay, <laughs> that one was a bit easier to get out. It was initially a lot more stable than the foam was. After using both of these, is I don't really like the foam at all. A um, couple of reasons why. One, you can't manipulate the foam as it's rising. With the concrete, like I said, you can sort of smooth it away from the post to create a runoff for the water. It still didn't really seem to adhere to the post very well and um, it left a void between the foam and the post didn't expand correctly, it expanded and contracted, which left the post completely wobbly inside the hole. That would have meant that your fence would have just been wobbling all over the place if there was any wind at all. Foam doesn't have any weight to it. One of the main things about concrete and its ability to hold posts in the ground is the weight of the product itself. Of course, with foam, it's as light as a feather, so it doesn't have that effect on the bottom of the post and it's not going to anchor the post into the ground like concrete will. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this as insightful as I have. I know exactly what products I'm going to be buying to set my fence posts. But if you've liked the video, please click the little like button at the bottom. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Also, click the notification bell to be notified when new content is uploaded. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.